few months ago, I was reading something. And a man named John Ruskins, who passed from this life over 100 years ago, wrote something so metaphorically beautiful, it caught my attention and got me right here in my heart. So much so that I had to put it to memory because I said, oh, I don't want to ever forget this. And I think you will understand this. There is no music during a musical rest, but the rest is part of the making of the music. In the melody of our lives, the music is separated here and there by rest. And sometimes during those rests, we foolishly think we've come to the end of the song. God sends us times of forced leisure by allowing sickness or disappointed plans and frustrated efforts. He brings a sudden pause to the choral hymn of our lives, and we lament that our voices must be silent. We grieve that our part is missing in the music that rises to the Creator. And yet, how does a musician read a rest? He counts the break with unwavering precision, and he plays his next note with confidence as if no pause were ever there. And may I say to you tonight, God doesn't write the music of our lives without a plan. Our job is to learn the tune and not get discouraged during the rest. They can't be slurred over. They can't be omitted. They can't be used to destroy the tune or even change the key. But if we'll just look up, God himself will count the time for us. And with our eyes on him, our next note will be full and clear. If we say to ourselves, but there's no music during a rest. Let us never forget that the rest is part of the making of the music. And the process is often slow and painful in this life. But oh, how patiently God works to teach us. And how long he waits for us to learn the song. Is that it? 